Are you looking for a job in Dubai or maybe you want to open your own business? Keep watching this video because today I'm gonna give you some important things about how people are doing business in Dubai. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the notification icon so you won't miss anything. Dubai is a multicultural city, almost 80% of the population are experts, so doing business here is almost like anywhere else. But if you live in Dubai, you need to respect the local culture, know the traditions and how people are doing business here. So today I'm gonna give you top 5 things you need to know about the work culture in Dubai. Let's start with the language. You don't need to know Arabic to live and work in Dubai, because the most common language among experts is English. Uh, but if you know Arabic, it will be a great advantage. The other commonly used languages are French, Russian and Hindi. Written correspondence is in English, but Arabic is preferred within some uh, public sector organizations. Uh, all official documents and forms are in Arabic. But don't worry, most of those documents have a copy in English as well. Now let's move to meetings and presentations. The first thing you should know that the working week in the private sector is from Sunday to Thursday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and within the public sector is from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, personal relationships are key to doing business in Dubai. So, as in other countries, it's important to target uh, the right people in your contacts who are decision makers. <laughs> Arab clients like to schedule a meeting in uh, informal places such as restaurants and it's important to schedule a meeting in advance uh, with some extra time allocated in case it should go longer. It's also better to establish new business contacts via an introduction by mutual contact, networking events, exhibitions. There are so many exhibitions that take place in Dubai and it's a great opportunity for companies to meet new potential partners, distributors or clients. Patience is the most valuable quality you can build throughout your life in Dubai. Long meetings is a regular practice here. People can check their phones during discussions, uh, join uh, unannounced or simply show up late. It can be really frustrating, but you should be patient. The customer greeting is Assalamu alaikum, to which you need to reply uh, Wa alaikum assalam. And when you attend the meeting, the general introduction should begin with a handshake uh, and you should greet each person individually. When dealing with Emirati people, uh, it's important to know the etiquette and never shake hands with an opposite gender unless they extend their hand first and always use your right hand. In a meeting, don't start business conversation straight away. Start talking about weather, family, uh, health, uh, wait for the other party to start a business conversation. Small talks allow us to find out whether someone is a suitable business partner. And positive and happy attitude is very important in a corporate world, so don't forget to smile. Now let me tell you what you should wear. Arabic men usually wear their traditional clothes, which is called kondura and Muslim women uh, cover their head and wear a traditional black long dress, which is called abaya. Uh, when attending a meeting, you should dress conservatively. Despite the heat, men should wear a suit and a tie, and women should wear formal work outfit uh, that covers knees and shoulders. But as I said, uh, Dubai is a multicultural country and there are many companies, especially in the creative industry, that don't have a formal dress code in the office. So you can wear your casual outfit. The next very important thing is to build your network. If you are planning to send only email introductions, you will not get very far. The business culture in Dubai is all about personalities. People want to know you in person before they start building any business relationship. Dubai is a networking hub. It's all about networking events. So search for them, go there, speak to anyone in the room and stay in touch afterwards. Uh, just put yourself out there. Um, 
in the right places and connections will come. Word of mouth is another very strong thing here, so if you do a great job and you meet the right people, uh, your client base will grow easily. It's Ramadan time in Dubai now and there are a few things you need to know about the business etiquette during this month. So if you work with Muslim colleagues, you should show even more respect and patience during this month because your colleagues are fasting. You shouldn't eat and drink in front of them until they break their fast. Uh, the working day is uh, two hours shorter and if your Muslim colleague or partner invites you for iftar, you shouldn't refuse because it's not polite and you cannot say something like I'm on a diet. <laughs> and um, you should greet your Muslim friends with Ramadan Karim. So guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. If you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and also you should follow me on my Instagram page because I post a lot of stories about my life uh, in Dubai there. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.